Okay, small little tutorial on animations and the animator, kind of the difference in them. So the animations is more of a legacy thing, uh, where the animator is, is a newer, new age. It's, a, it's the hip thing. It's what all the kids are doing. Um, <clears throat> so this cube, for example, I made a empty game object, put a cube in it, and I put a animation component, right? That's key, animation. There's a big difference got to watch that word animation component on the cube now when I do that um, I can go animations right and I can select my cube and I can create a new clip right like cube jump for example and I can hit record say go to the 30 second mark and take them up like that and then say at the 40 second mark we can put him down just like that and we have this kind of this weird little hoppy thing and I end up getting this animation called cube jump and I can tell it to loop um, over here I have <coughs> it's already added itself action wise though again watch this naming play animation right so I have cube scale it waits for three seconds play animation cube spin waits for three seconds and goes back right so that's what this cube is doing he's playing those animations okay where if you look at the this nice little handsome fellow over here we have we don't have animations we have an animator tor tur tor i don't know but i'm going to call it an animator so <clears throat> the big difference with that is the animator has it has its own little tab called animator and we have clips inside of it. See, there's a clip there. I'm using sword idle. So for example, I can say, I can just drag clips into this, right? I just drop them off, put them wherever. And then you can do parameters. I can say trigger, um, hit, not capitalized. From here, I can, I can right click on this, make a transition from here, and then from here back to here, or I can use from any state. Um, there's a fair bit about these. So has exit time. This is this animation is playing. If I leave this on and say use my trigger hit, it's will wait until this animation is done and then transfer over. I can untick that and it's just going to transfer over. So then I, this one on the way back, I'm going to leave that on, but not put any conditions here. So it's going to play and then just come back. Okay, so it's based on a trigger called hit. So with the animator, with Playmaker, I hate that stupid prefab thing. And here, if I say wait, you know, one second, and we'll just throw a small little finish there. And then from here, we're not gonna do the animation, we're gonna do the animator. Right? <clears throat> so these are the animators. So we have, you have crossfade, you can, you can tell it what, what clip to play based on these names by using things like this or this, but you could also use these things. You can use triggers, floats, integers, bowls, and I can say um, hit. So <clears throat> it's gonna wait briefly at one second and then it's gonna set this trigger. This trigger is gonna tell this thing to do that. And then he gets back up, right? And if I watch it um, through this window, it's see, it's transferred 
you don't see it because it happens in one frame and then it comes back but you can set these things up uh, in, in a lot of different ways but then you could also add layers now this is where things start to get really complex because you can run uh, for example a layer here and maybe it does just your legs and you can add well you can add IK but you can add body masks so this layer is just controlling the legs and this one's controlling say the upper body or the head you can separate left arm or right arm or left leg and right leg you can do all sorts of different layers um, so you can you can add a lot of blending uh, there's a lot of lot of options when you play with the animator which is why it's a newer system and you look at this old system and it's I can play this animation or I can play this animation that's pretty much about it so that's the differences with animation and animator okay talk to you later